Hi everyone, welcome to part 5 of Trading Crypto with OKX series. In this video, we will learn about the concept of dollar cost averaging or DCA and how to use recurring buy, spot and future DCA martingale bot to automate your trading. You can check the complete video series links on the description below. And if you're new, consider subscribing to this channel. Alright then, without further ado, let's dive in. In this lecture, we will study more about dollar cost averaging. Before we continue, we have a special offer for you. You can get a 10% cashback for every transaction if you open account using this referral code KICKBACK10. Now, what is DCA? DCA or dollar cost averaging is a strategy of buying regularly of specific investment. I'll give you an example. Suppose this is the price movement of certain instruments. By using DCA, we will buy that instrument regularly. For example, we buy on this price on a certain period regularly. And we buy on this price. We may not get at the lowest price here, but periodically or regularly, we buy the instruments. We can buy on daily basis, weekly or monthly basis. Now that's what we call dollar cost averaging. Now the benefit of using DCE is that the purchase price or the cost is averaged compared to what we call lump sum. If you buy big here and the price increase here, then the increase will not that big. But if we using the dollar cost averaging, then the average cost is much lower. In OKX, there are three types of DCA bot. First is recurring buy and spot DCA using Martingale, we will talk about it later. And the third one is future DCA with Martingale. So for recurring buy, we can set bot to do the regular investment for certain instruments. And we can create also crypto portfolios and it's more suitable for mid and long term investing. And this bot works only in spot market. The second bot is spot DCA Martingale. Of course, it works on only on spot market. It only profit when it's bullish and you can set investment by press level. Also, there is multiplying parameter we can set and it's suitable for mid and long term investing. And the last bot is future DCA Martingale. It's for future market. It works on pool and bear market. There are multiplying parameter as well. We can trade using leverage and also there are risk of liquidation. This bot can generate higher profit than the spot one, but also there is risk of liquidations. It's suitable for short and mid term trading recurring by bot. Check the middle bottom menu here. Tap twice. Then select trading bots. And there are many bots available here in create bot menu. And in this video, we will focus on DCA bot recurring by. Tap here. You can see there are three types of bots here. Now, if you look at the numbers here, it is the number of users who use the bot. So from these numbers of users, the most favorite spots is future DCA and the next one is recurring buy and spot DCA. Now I will show you on how to set up bot recurring buy on BTC USDT. Choose the assets we want to buy. Next, you set the recurring period here. You can set the frequencies, whether it's hourly, weekly, monthly, and so on. In this example, I will select daily and then click confirm. Select the local time. Set the amount. Minimum for recurring by Bitcoin is 10 USDT. And in this case, I will set to 100 USDT. In here, you can find the two year backtested yield. It is a simulation of uh, the last two years. By using this strategy, you can have uh, two years yield for 83% and tap create and confirm. Okay, that's all for recurring by DCA. Next, we can also use this bot for creating a portfolio. You can add more crypto assets. For example, I will add ETH, SOL, MATIC. Then I click confirm, then automatically system will divide uh, each of the assets 25%. Then we set the amount, for example, in this case, uh, 100 USDT. 
tap create and confirm and the bot will automatically purchase the four assets equally using 100 usdt to check the running bot you can tap here on the menu trading bots tap my bots now here's the bot that was just made BTC, ETH, MATIC, and SOL portfolios. And below, you can see the BTC recurring by the bot that was just made earlier before. Okay, that's all. And let's move to the next bot. Before we dive into the app, I will share with you the concept of a spot TCA Martingale. Simply said, it is strategy of buying assets based on price level with multiplier. It is the multiplier that makes the difference between Spot DCA regular and Spot DCA Martingale. Now here's an example. If we set DCA bot in Spot, then the bot will immediately purchase uh, the assets. It's so-called the initial order. I'll give you an example. If you purchase, uh, let's say $100, and after that, the price goes down like this. At certain percentage, for example, minus 1%, bot can make another purchase we call it safety order, $100. If the price goes down further, bot can make the second safety order. With multiplier, in this case, we have a 1.2x multiplier. So it is 20% more from the previous safety order. Suppose price continues to go down and the bot open SO3 and SO4. So every purchase with higher amount, it will decrease the average cost. And in a time when market rebound, like this, bot can take profit. For example, in this case, oh, we set 1.5%. So we do not need to wait until the price uh, goes above initial order. This is the main concept of Spot DCA Martingale. And the possible scenario which may happen is as follows. Suppose there is no retrace after initial order and the price goes straight up. And the bot will take profit here, in this case, 1.5%. After taking profit, the bot will immediately open another new position and the cycle repeats. When the price goes up, the bot will take another profit, 1.5%. Now what happened in Paris scenario? Bot will open an initial order and the price goes down. Bot will open several safety orders. In this example, SO1 until SO4. In this case, we set only SO4 for the maximum safety order and the price goes down further. And when the bot reaches maximum safety order, in this case four, we will have a floating loss position or throwdown. Since this is in the spot market, then there is no risk of liquidation. Now let's continue the example. After opening several safety orders and the average cost is uh, decreasing to this blue line. Once the price rebound and robot will take profit above the average cost, which is in this case 1.5% in profit. Now during this period, we will suffer from uh, floating loss unless we set a stop loss here somewhere here okay so i hope you get the idea how to set up the board first you have to choose the coin or token make sure it is uptrend because the board can only uh, be profitable if the market is uptrend there is a, an ai copy strategy which can help us to define the parameters okay first i want to show you how to simply select uh, the coin itself, whether this coin is uptrend or not. In this case, I will uh, use Ethereum. A simple way how to do it, you can add uh, moving average indicators, which is in this case EMA 100 period on daily chart. For uptrend coin, the price will move above EMA 100 line. And another one, I'll give you an example of uh, the downtrend market. If we go to the left, you can see there that the price moves below the EMA 100 line, so it means it's in the downtrend. And during this period, it's not advised to use the bot. And now let's go deeper on how to set up the bot. Then we uh, select the coin, in this case ETH USDT, and the next we set the trigger price. There are two parameters. First is price steps. It's in percentage, so every 1% decrease, the bot will open new order. Next, we set the TP, in this case 1.5%, according to the example. Then we set the investment amount. There are three parameters, the initial order amount, safety order amount, and maximum safety order. And next, we can set the advanced setting. By the way, this is optional. 
You can tap in the uh, safety order details and there you can see the amount multiplier and the price tab multiplier. If we refer to the previous example, then we can change the amount multiplier into 1.2. By the way, if you don't want to use your own parameter, you can uh, select this uh, using the AI strategies. It is selected strategies created by AI for you. There are three types, midterm moderate bullish, short term aggressive bullish, and long term conservative bullish. So you can choose based on your preference. If it's still hard to decide, then you can choose midterm moderate bullish. So you can compare and uh, choose based on your preference. To apply the setting, just tap copy, set the amount, and click create. Now, here's an example of the bot I just made. It's the Spot DCA Martingale bot for Ethereum. You can tap the bot and see detail more about it. We can see the completed cycle. It means that uh, the bot already take profit twice. You can tap the spot info and the ongoing. And in the ongoing, we can see the current position now. For example, this is initial order price. Here's the current price, means that uh, we are in a floating profit position now. And the bot will TP in this cycle when the price reaches 2555.99. If the price goes down, we have SO number 1 here at 2465 and safety order number 2, number 3 and so on until safety order number 8. So when the price goes down and reaches 2300, it will open all the safety orders. Now how can we uh, stop the bot and take profit? You can tap here and you can choose between whether to stop the bot and sell it or you stop the bot without selling it. Now, we learn about future DCA Martingale bot. It is actually share the same concept of a spot DCA Martingale bot, the previous one. But in future DCA bot, it can open long or short position and using leverage. So it can generate higher return, but also has a higher risk. Your position can get liquidated. Now, let's take a look at the bot. If you see here, the number of user is the highest, means that this is the most popular bot between the three. There are two directions of the bot, long and short. Long is for the bullish market and short is for the bearish market. You can set the bot manually, you enter the everything manually on the parameter or you can ask for AI for help. So just tap here, set manual or AI and then clear all and then AI autofill, it will automatically, AI will set up the, all the parameters for you. We only fill in the initial order margin and safety order margin. Well, optionally, you can also select the copy AI strategy. You can just tap here. The first two are for moderate bullish and moderate bearish. It's for the midterm uh, time frame. And below are the short term aggressive bullish. And the next one is the long term conservative bullish and bearish. So it will help you to ease all the process of uh, setting up the, all the parameters manually. To set up, just simply tap copy. Next, you can set the leverage. Uh, it's already been uh, chosen by AI. It's uh, 15 times, 15x, but you can, uh, anyway, you can set up based on your own preference. So for example, if we choose and to lower down, for example, 5x, then it will impact with the liquidation price is much relaxed. On the contrary, if we set it to, let's say, 100x, then the liquidation price is very tight. So please be careful when setting up the leverage on your trade. So in this case, uh, we stick to the leverage defined by the AI 15x, and then we set the amount. Based on the setting defined by AI, the minimum is 300, uh, 305 or 306. Then we set 500, for example. Here below, you can see the estimated liquidation price. It's 226. If you look at the current price, which is 2497, it uh, ranged about 10% before it get liquidated. Make a final check and if everything okay, tap create and confirm. After bot created, you can check the running bot by tapping uh, my bot here. Here's the bot that was just created. You can tap on the bot for details. You can check the PNL, bot info, and the current position opened. Now move to the history tab. You can check on the details tab here. You can find here all the pending orders for sell for TP and also buy for safety orders. And on the bottom, you can see field order. That's the initial order. That will be the end of part five. And on the next part, 
we will learn about arbitrage spot how to use deep and pick sniper and thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on my next video my name is tommy Yu, and have a good trading day see ya